I'm George Calicio. In today's lesson, we're going to talk about triads. We're going to learn how to construct them and we're going to learn how to play them. So grab your guitar and let's get going. So, what are triads? A triad in music is a chord made up of three notes. They are classified according to the intervals formed above the root. Triads can be used for basic chords or superimposing bass notes to create sophisticated sounds for chords and also for improvising. So, first let's discuss the construction of triads. So let's review first the major scale. Remember the major scale, the formula for building the major scale is a whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. So if we want to build the C major scale, the first note is C, we go a whole note, a whole step to D, another whole step to E, a half step to F, a whole step to G, another whole step to A, a whole step to B, and there's our half step between B and C. So the formula for building a major triad is we're going to take the first, the third, and the fifth note of any major scale. In this case, it'll be C. We put them together, and it, um, that will build our major triad. So one, three, Five in the key of C is C, E, and G. And if you notice, we have a C to E is an interval of a major third, and E to G is an interval of a minor third. That will result in a C major triad. Let's move on. A minor triad formula is we simply take the first, we flat the third in the fifth. So in the key of C, it would be a C, E flat, right there, and G. The diminished is a 1 flat 3 flat 5. So in C diminished would be C, E flat, and G flat. Augmented is a 1 3 sharp 5. C, E, there's my our G, and then we sharp it. There's our sharp five. The next one we can do is a sus two. And remember, when we sus a chord, we leave the third out and we add whatever note they're sussing. So in this case, a sus two would be a C, D, since it's the second note, and G. Our next one is a sus four one four five c no third we go to the fourth which is an f and a g one four five the next one is a major flat five so we have a c e and a g flat that also could be called a sharp four as well which would give you the Lydian sound. Or 4 and 11 are the same, so we could even call that a sharp 11. So now we understand the formulas. Let's talk about the root position major triad. Root position major triad with string sets 1 through 3. So... If this is our C note, it's our root. So that's our root, third, and fifth. You would use your third, fourth, and first finger. Minor would simply be flatting the third. Here's our root, which that is, on the guitar is a C. Hopefully you know all your notes on the guitar neck. Then you take the E and you flat it. The third, and you flat it. C, E flat, G becomes a C minor. We take the same root into C, E flat, and now we take the G and we flat it. That becomes our diminished. We use fingers four, three, and one. Augmented, same root, 
C, E, and G sharp. Use your second, third, and first finger. The next set we have is C sus2. Here's our C, our root, our second, it's a D, and our fifth is a G. I've used my third and your first finger to bar that. The next we have a C sus4, so we raise the four. There's your fourth and your fifth. Use your three, four, one fingers. In your major, flat five, there's your C, E, there was your G, you flat it. So you take your third, fourth, and you stretch down a little bit to get that flat five sound. So let's grab our guitars. And now that you have that, let's play them and we'll hear how they sound. I'm gonna grab my guitar, grab yours too. So the first triad we did was a C major. And here's the formation. One, three, five, or C, E, G. When we made it a minor, we flatted the third. So we simply flat the third. Diminished, we flat the third and the fifth. We can switch our fingers around if you want. Okay. Then we go back. We do the augmented. One, three, sharp, five. Sus, two. Sus, four. with a flat five or a sharp 11 and are diminished one flat three flat five so practice those shapes and the next thing you need to do is remember if that's our C or root anywhere we move this these seven shapes will determine the name of those triads so if that's my C if I move it up to D then we have a D major triad, D minor, D diminished, D augmented, so on and so forth. D sus2, D sus4, D major flat five. So you should take those shapes and move them up and down the neck until you get very familiar with them. In the next video, we'll do the same thing, except this time, Instead of root position, we will do first inversions.